right. Well, Brandon, thank you very much for joining us today. Um, I'd like to introduce everyone to, to Brandon Emerson. He is the, you know, you got a nice title, but I'm just going to call you the uh, the solutions guru. Um, <laughs> so for, for, for the HP and for some of these devices. So, you know, we'd like to join, we'd like to thank everyone for joining the call today. Uh, we know everyone's busy. So with the times that are happening, um, I'd like to join myself and Emerson kind of going over uh, HP WorkPath solutions and how those work and helping uh, companies really digitize documents moving forward is kind of the way of the future. And uh, we've, we've noticed a lot of people are having a hard time um, retrieving documents from, you know, right now, no one's going to the office as much as they used to. So how are they getting those documents back to them, digitizing those documents and working from home and retrieving them from home and, and also making the machine itself kind of its full workstation instead of just an, an MFP or a multifunction device. It's now essentially a workstation that has been put into the office place. So from that, uh, I'll pass it over to you, Brandon. Great. Thank you, JP, and thanks everyone for joining. Um, <clears throat> I just want to um, say if you guys have questions as we're going through this today, feel free to pop it into the Q&A and um, let me know that uh, if you have any questions and I'll answer them as we go through this. This time is really for you guys. I wanna make sure you get the most out of this. So if there's anything you wanna know more about, happy to go deeper. Um, so as JP mentioned, I <clears throat> lead our solutions uh, for North America. And I wanna spend some time talking about um, our work path uh, solutions and uh, solutions portfolio. HP has been investing heavily uh, in this and I think we're bringing a lot of very good capabilities to our MFPs um, that hasn't been there before. And a lot of it is because of what we're able to do with WorkPath and the platform. So I'm gonna spend some time talking through that and some of the apps because at its core, um, WorkPath is a, um, is a tool that allows you to transform you know, a, a standard MFP from a, you know, just a, a copy and scan device into a very dynamic uh, workstation that allows you to do, you know, very complex, um, a lot of times time intensive and multiple step workflows. Um, it can transform a device into something very specific that allows you to do that at the MFP instead of having to use multi steps to make that happen. And so, you know, there's, there's so many things that you wanna do uh, with print and, and the print process of really moving things from uh, physical, the paper into the digital and, you know, processing those documents and ultimately, you know, putting them into some kind of cloud repository or some kind of cloud tool. And I'm definitely going to go into a lot of detail about that. Um, but what happens today is, you know, um, it's very time intensive. So I just want to take you through what typically happens when you want to digitize documents, okay? And so you take those documents, you go up to the MFP, you authenticate at that device, um, you pull up your email, you enter your email address and potentially more information, you know, the subject or whatever it is. You scan those documents in, you then go back to your PC, you open that email that you just had scanned to yourself and sometimes it takes a little while or it doesn't even show up. So you have to go and do that again. Um, you download the attachments that you just scanned, you delete the email, you log on to the application that you wanna load them up to. And we'll talk about a few today like cloud repositories or very specific tools like accounting tools um, like QuickBooks or a legal tool. Um, you know, one of those, and, and, and then you log into that application, um, you select whatever it is, if it's a client uh, folder or case, or, um, you know, some kind of repository where, that you have to put that in, and then you upload the document into that, you enter any required data, and then you delete that document from your PC, typically. Sometimes there's, you know, important data that you don't want to have native on your PC um, because of, of laws that are out there. And so you can see that this process uh, and that I'm sure every single one of you has used um, is very manual. <laughs> it's a lot of potential for error. Um, a lot of times you can't trace everything. There's some security and compliance issues that I mentioned, and it really relies on a computer. 
Um, and, and so there's a, a lot of intensity around that. Now, if we can take, you know, the majority of those steps out and make it very simple to do this at the uh, MFP, you're going to improve, you know, time intense, the time intensive, intensivity, intensivity, that's a, that's a tough word. So the time intensiveness that's needed, um, you know, for this and then the potential errors and all that. And especially people that are working in a back office doing a lot of these time intensive tasks, this is going to make their life a lot easier because what you do now is you go to the device, you authenticate at that device, you select the app application, you scan the document right there into the digital workflow and you're done. So you're going from 13, maybe more steps down to, you know, two to three steps. So it, this is making life so much easier. And so at its core, WorkPath is our um, HP's app, app platform. Um, and we have, you know, today we have over 100 apps and I'm going to talk about a few of the key ones, but we have a lot of apps there today and um, we're able to, you know, turn that MFP into some kind of specific, you know, a legal MFP so that for the legal industry, we can cut out all these additional steps for, you know, scanning all these uh, files <clears throat> um, that they would have to do today in this multi-step process. We can make it all happen at the device. So it's, it's very powerful, these apps. And the great thing about apps, as you guys know, is apps are pretty simple. You know, I, I've seen little like two-year-old kids get an iPhone or, or, you know, or an Android phone, log in and start using, you know, apps on the phone. And, and that's the whole concept around apps is to make it very simple and very easy to use. And we're bringing that whole thing to the MFP. Brandon, just, just, one, just one thing I just wanted to mention here. I know. Please, yeah. Uh, I know, I know a lot of uh, our, our customers and we see this all the time. And I, I think everyone can relate to this is that people use their emails as your repository, right? Then they're using their emails to store the documents and save them, which if you talk to your IT department, that's not really what you're supposed to be doing, right? You're not supposed to right. be keeping, keeping this information in your, in your, in your inbox. Um, so, you know, I'm sure most, most people within the IT department would be cringing when they see the, the delete email, because I bet you nine out of 10 people don't delete the email once they put it into the repository, they keep it there. Right. Yep. And I'm guilty of that. I use it. I use it the same way. Like I'm, you know, it's kind of old school myself, but I know, you know, I, we, we use Google docs. Once I put it in Google docs, I don't want to keep it in my email anymore. So yes, that, that's a huge thing. Right. And, and for, for the IT department and for compliancy and all that other stuff, having that stuff in your email is not, is not the best thing to do. So sorry, I just wanted to bring that up. No, please. Yeah. Jump in as needed. I think that's an excellent point. And definitely there's some security and compliancy concerns around that. So. Um, so what I want to talk about in our app portfolio is, is, is I like to bucketize things uh, so it's easier to grasp them. We've created apps um, ourselves within HP, and then we also have a developer community. Today, our developer community is around 500 developers. Uh, so we have a very robust development developer community that's bringing out new apps all the time because the opportunity here is, is, is enormous. And... Um, and, and so we've got apps in three categories. One is gonna be around um, traditional print management where you're gonna authenticate at the device. You're gonna you know, have the device do job accounting, uh, scanning to cloud repositories, um, some additional capabilities. So those are your kind of standard print management capabilities. Then we also have some pretty awesome advanced print capabilities where you're transforming that MFP to do some additional advanced printing or advanced MFP uh, value added solutions like shipping and being able to turn that MFP into a self-service shipping kiosk. Um, so that's the next step. And then the third step is really more transformational. And this is where we're targeting specific verticals and specific workflows to optimize those document related business processes and make it very easy for you to go from the physical into the digital, into these cloud repositories. And we see that most companies now, if not everyone, especially with COVID, the acceleration we're seeing with COVID is moving you know, into, into the cloud and moving into cloud uh, 
you know, document repository. So, the, so much is happening around the cloud and, you know, WorkPath is very well suited for this because WorkPath is fully in the cloud. And so it integrates very easily into these cloud repositories and these cloud-based applications. And that makes a great point because a lot of people now are working from home, right? So uh, as, right. as the IT department, not having to build a tunnel into it and VPNing into everything, they can just put everything into the cloud, how their multifunction devices for the people who need them at home, and they're able to put these processes together. Yep. Yeah, and we've seen, you know, with, with the work from home, uh, of course, the acceleration to the cloud and, and work path is fully in the cloud. So you can, you know, do everything and manage everything in, uh, you know, right. very easily, you know, from any place. Now, home's kind of the big place for a lot of us because of what's happened. And, and so this is making it really easy to do that. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of curious, um, you know, what you guys are using for your cloud storage. So I, if you want to take a second and just open up the Q&A, because um, I don't think, do we have chat enabled? Uh, no, no, we just have the Q&A. Uh, yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah, chat's enabled. Yeah, yeah, chat's on. Okay. Yeah, so go ahead and go into chat just because it's easier. We don't have to turn it off and turn on for Q&A uh, like you do to get it out of there. So go into chat and just... Um, tell me if you're using any of these six listed cloud storage providers, just type the one that you're using. So if it's OneDrive, OneDrive for Business, SharePoint, uh, Google Drive Box or Dropbox. Um, if it's, and I see them coming in, great. Um, uh, let me pull up chat here so I can see them. So I see like JP said, Google Drive. Uh, what are you guys using for your cloud storage connectors? So go ahead and put it in there just so I can get a sense um of what people are using google drive good sharepoint and google drive i see that when someone sharepoint and google drive it's also in the q a too okay yep somebody dropped it in the q a good yeah feel free to do it anyway uh so sharepoint google drive google drive perfect um so google drive seems to be a big one and definitely and we're, we're seeing that um sharepoint um, don't worry about it. You guys can put it anywhere, um, but it just makes it easier in chat to track it. Um, so, yeah, so you guys are using Google Drive, SharePoint, um, and what HP did is we, when we started out this platform, we created, as you'll see, these are all the HP apps. Uh, so we created what we call Lighthouse apps and just kind of leading the way for our developer community. And so we created all the major repositories. Um, Google Drive, of course, being a big one, SharePoint as well. Uh, we use OneDrive internally at HP, so that's one that we're using um, here. And, and then I, of course, have my own Google Drive account, et cetera. So there's, there's a lot of cloud storage connectors. And as I mentioned, um, what you can do is you can send scans to these cloud repositories, as well as access your stored documents right from the MFP screen. So what I'm going to show you here is what it looks like. And you're gonna recognize this because this is the same mobile-like design that you've got on your, your phone. Um, this is of course Android platform, so it's gonna look very Android, but also on your iPhone, you're gonna be able to use it the same way you would on your phone or on your, um, you know, like iPad kind of device. And, and so what you'll be able to do from the MFP is you go up to the MFP, you log in, you authenticate into you know, OneDrive. And then from there, you can see you're gonna have access to all of your OneDrive folders and files. So from there, you can browse, you can actually um, select a folder, find the file and print right from there. So you're cutting out the PC. You're cutting out all that needs to happen with you know, print spoolers and, and drivers and all the things that need to happen. You're going direct. And so it makes it super simple to print right there and get exactly what you want, as well as find where you want to scan the files and you can uh, scan them right there. So what we've done is we've made it super simple to just do everything at the MFP instead of having to, you know, do the multiple steps that we mentioned. And, that, and I'll give you, sorry, I'll give, can I just give you an example of that? Like I know please, uh, yeah. like car, car dealerships, like we've, we've uh, put this into car dealerships where you know, they have uh, financial forms and they don't want to pre-print them all. So they just print them at a time. So they, they have a quick button. They can go through here and print it because they don't want to leave their customer waiting to change their mind on buying a car. Um, we've also done it with retirement homes um, or, 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 or senior living homes 
where people are going there. And, uh, you know, some people, we've seen it with uh, some organizations, COVID, um, you know, contact tracing and all that stuff, uh, you know, asking all the questionnaires before they come into it, they're able to print them out quickly right from the machine itself. So if they run out of them, they're able to go to the machine that's right at the front and go, go through it and then print them all out. So for forms that are printed often in, in high traffic areas, this is where we've seen this work very well. And also within just normal business day-to-day -day operations, when you're at the machine, you're like, oh, I forgot to do this. I forgot to print this. You come right here and you can come do it all in one time instead of having to go back. Yep, great, great examples. Um, so those are the cloud storage connectors. Um, there's other apps that I, I'm gonna mention a few. Um, we have a print from USB app. It's, it's a really simple, straightforward. It's a free app. Um, but what it does is it allows you on the HP MFPs to go up to the device with your USB and you know do a print um, and and change your settings. So you can view, you can modify your settings. You can see from the little uh, window there on the on the right hand side some of the options that are available. So there's a lot of options from print from USB. Um, you can do print preview as well to make sure that everything looks good, and then you can print your JPEG, TIFF, or PDF files right there at the device. So it. It's a nice little app that's uh, free and you know we're seeing a lot of customers using this and very happy with the capabilities that it provides um, so that's a, I think a good example of a device uh, you know of a, an app that's free and there are some free apps as well um, you know in the portfolio um, cloud facts is <clears throat> is a big one so we're seeing you know a lot of need for companies to move to cloud facts and get rid of their you know, physical fax machines. And, and so if you're, you know, using, you know, a physical fax machine today, it's, it's very um, easy to move to a cloud fax uh, repository. So our uh, application, in this case, I'm showing you XM fax. Uh, we've got a lot of other ones in the portfolio, Bizcom fax, um, IXWare, so um, AccuRoute cloud fax. So there's a lot of different <coughs> cloud fax um, applications that we have. But what it does is it makes it easy to move away from the physical. It can save you a lot of time and money and help with the, you know, the compliancy. Um, it's, it's really common in the US healthcare system. I'm guessing it's probably extremely common there as well in Canada. I, I don't know for sure, but I'm, it I'm is. guessing yeah, it, it's, it is. It's, yeah. it's becoming a lot more common, yeah, as, as it's happening for sure. Yeah, so this is, you know, we've got a lot of the cloud facts. Uh, tools to allow you to get away from the physical fax machines and do everything in the cloud. And, and so it's saving space. You don't need that physical machine. It's saving money um, because of the fact that you, you know, don't need anything physical. And these, you know, cloud repositories are a lot less expensive overall. So it's, it's a great uh, way to move away from the physical into the cloud. Um, and you can do it all within, you know, from the HP MFP, so very powerful tools well, uh, around I, cloud faxing. And I know uh, change, change, change is not always easy, right? So what we found is we actually, we, so one thing that you don't have to buy a fax card for any of the machines, which is fantastic, but also what we do is we make it very simple. So it looks like they press a fax button and there's the same functionality of what they would if they had a fax card on there would still work the exact same way as they transition over. So we make it really, like, it feels the exact same. The touch and feel of the fax and sending the fax is exactly the same. You can put a phone number in. You can do anything you want. We can we can make that feel and customize it how you want. All Great. Right. <clears throat> um, and then, you know, I want to talk a little bit about some verticals. So we offer vertical fax uh, or uh, fax vertical application solutions. So I'm going to talk about accounting. Um, we've got healthcare uh, vertical solutions. We've got legal vertical solutions, education. So we've got a lot of different ones um, that are available. Um, I'm going to kind of go deep on the accounting one um, because most companies have these kind of horizontal accounting solutions. Um, and, and so I'm going to take you through that. Um, one thing I realized that I didn't do is I didn't enable, hold on one second. Um, when I share, there's a little button at the bottom that shares optimized screen for sharing for video clip. Okay, we're back in and now I'm going to share it. Accounts payable is a complex and time consuming process for finance departments. 
Accounting and financial management software saves time until you add in paper invoices and payments. Then the less profitable hours start racking up through scanning and data entry time created by paper-based suppliers and clients. Valuable time that could be saved and repurposed better across your customer's business. That's where HP WorkPath apps come in. They ensure that paper invoices and payments won't cause your customers pain. By enabling HP printers to securely scan invoices and payments, extract the data, and flow it seamlessly into their accounting and financial management software, giving them back priceless time to add real financial value to their business. HP WorkPath Apps, giving time back at the touch of a button. So you can see, you know, it, it goes back to what we talked about at the very beginning about, you know, the time that it can save by doing all this at the actual MFP. And so what we're talking about right now is some of the uh, accounting vertical applications. And so if you look on the screen, I've got a couple listed here. Conquer is an SAP um, tool for travel expenses. Actually, we use it at HP. Um, QuickBooks is, I think, by far the number one um, accounting software that's used. And, you know, they have it all in the cloud and, you know, availability to do this in the cloud. And those are the connectors that we're providing. Um, Sage is another big one. Um, so maybe take a, a minute and let me know um, through the chat. Do, do you guys use any of these? Um, if so, just kind of let me know which one. I'd like to see if um, you guys are using QuickBooks or Sage uh, for your accounting software. Um, and, and so go ahead and put that in the chat. Just, just, it's good for you to type too and to make sure that you're, you're with me and, you know, following along today because, you know, we're in all these Zoom calls and a lot of times we're just sitting there and not, not maybe engaged. And so I, I love to use the chat for that. So look, Don, thanks. You know, it looks like you're using QuickBooks. Um, that's great. Um, and QuickBooks is a good one. Um, and I, I, I'm going to show you another detail here, but um, it is awesome how you can load one app onto an MFP. In this case, we'll, we'll use QuickBooks and transform that multifunctional printer. Not just it's, we got to move away from thinking about it just as a copy, you know, print scan device. It's actually turning into an accounting device. So it's a, it, it becomes an asset to the company um, for the accounting department. So in this case, um, I'm going to close the chat here. Thanks, Don. Um, and I'm going to show you what this looks like because um, when you load this app onto the MFP, what it does is it makes it super simple to do all this. And this is what it looks like. Um, just a quick overview of, you know, doing this. So QBO is QuickBooks Online. That's the app. So when you authenticate in the MFP, you quick, uh, click on that. You get into the app. You're going to click on enter bill and attach. You're going to put the scan on this uh, scanner. You're going to click scan and it's going to scan your document. And of course, you can do multiple. In this case, we're going to start a workflow uh, for this. Um, what you do is you actually select the vendor. And when it does that, it's actually using OCR um, to look at the fields, pull in the relevant data, and it automatically pulls in the date, the invoice number, the uh, amount, you know, any relevant data. You can actually put in more additional information here if you want to um, at the device, and then you click save, and it automatically goes right into QuickBooks Online. So if you log into QuickBooks Online back at your, you know, your PC, um, you're going to see the bill that we just scanned in with all the relevant information. You can click on it, you know, see that everything's in there. It, so it scanned all that information in, and then there's your scan document. Um, this was all done at the MFP. And so, of course, as you can see, making it super simple, creating out, you know, cutting out all the steps of having to go and scan it to your PC and pull it up and upload it and delete it and all those additional steps that we talked about at the beginning, you can see, you know, straightforward, it makes it super simple to convert your, you know, MFP into an accounting tool for your back office. So um, I'm going to pause there for a second and see if you guys have any questions on you know, some of these apps that we've talked about. 
any questions about uh, you know specific applications, cloud applications that you're using. So I'm going to pause here and feel free to go into the Q&A and type any questions you have in there um, before we go on to the next step. So I have a question for you. I, I know from 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 while well, we're waiting for some uh, questions here, but you know how many? What what do you find is the biggest one that you see? Because you see all of uh, North America or all the Americas, so you kind of see what's happening. But you know what? Which one is are the biggest ones? Like the top three that are being downloaded? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, we're seeing heavy heavy usage of the cloud repository. So. Um, Google Drive is a big one, um, and then uh, OneDrive, OneDrive for business. The, both of those are really big. Mm -hmm. uh, Bizcom Facts is one that we're seeing a lot. Um, Bizcom has a heavy uh, uh, presence in that U.S. healthcare industry. I I don't I can't speak for Canada, so I, I don't know. And maybe you can jump in and let me know. Yeah, Canada Canada is X Media, so X Media has done okay. a ton of stuff, and, and obviously Right Facts, right? So yep, those, those two yeah, are and we see X Media used a lot. Bizcom's number one for cloud okay. faxing, at least on the WorkPath platform. Yeah, um, X Media is in that list, but it's down below Bizcom. Um, and then, you know, QuickBooks is another one that we're seeing used as well as the kiosk applications. Um, so we have a, an application called Corio and it allows you to convert the MFP into a self-service kiosk. And this is used a lot by universities and libraries. We even see um, supermarkets using it these days with the situation with COVID um, where you actually, you know, can print to the, the Quario repository and then go up to that device, authenticate at the device with your mobile phone, and then you have your payment and all the payment services in there. That's another big one that we see used a lot um, today. And we're, so, I would say, so sorry, we're, we're working right now actually with a developer uh, to, to create a scan, an OCR uh, in the cloud. Uh, yep. So, so it, it OCRs, because a lot of people don't want to spend the money to uh, you know, for the Abbey engine and put that on their own servers. And then they got to, you know, keep the, the engines going and, and de de determine how much, how many uh, uh, Abbey engines they're going to need to compress those documents. But anyways, so we're working with, we're working with a, a company right now and it's going to use AWS and yep. uh, that's going to all be done in the cloud. And then what it's going to be is instead of having to pay for all that, you know, the servicing of, of servers like the, the MNS and everything like that, um, and then a big server cost on the hardware, we're actually going to be doing it something so very, very easy so that you just charge per scan. Um, and it also yeah. does all the other stuff. So that's something that we're, we're looking to come out with hopefully very soon um, as it's in the testing stages right now. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. And, and I think that's a good segue into this last piece, um, JP. And what you were saying is that, um, so that we have, like I said, 100 plus apps today. Yeah. But there's a lot of opportunities out there. So if we have, if our customers, you know, if you guys have specific needs for certain applications or, you know, to customize even existing applications, the WorkPath platform is very dynamic and very flexible. And it's also, you know, we're, we're getting a lot of accolades with NHP. They're like, in the past, it used to take you guys so long to, you know, make a, you know, a few changes to certain software because it was really hard and you'd have to change a lot of stuff in the firmware. Now we can dynamically create new apps, you know, tweak and, and adjust existing apps to meet the needs of, of our customers. So that's one of the strengths of this platform is the ability to do that. So if we don't have an app today, like you were mentioning about OCR in the cloud, we have a little bit there, but it may not do exactly what you want. New apps can be created or, you know, existing apps can be adjusted based on the needs of our customers. We've been doing that a lot and our customers have been blown away at how responsive and how quick HP can be. And, and they're saying, you guys are super agile. We didn't expect this from a big company like HP to be able to do this, but this WorkPath platform and our developer community has really enabled this. So don't be stuck on what we have today. There's a lot of other you know, apps being developed as well as the capability to develop new apps as needed for our partners and our customers. Yep. And it sounds like you guys are, are definitely doing that with this OCR yeah. capability. Yeah, that, yeah. That's and awesome. it's, well, yeah, because we found, we found, you know, it, having a non-site, a non-prem solution for, for very large organizations, it makes organizations, makes a lot of sense, right? It makes sense for them. 
but right. some of these companies that you know maybe maybe they have a hundred hundred users and only ten people are really going to need it. Um, do they really want to spend you know twenty thousand dollars to get that up and running, and then another four thousand dollars a year just to maintain the services and the service and stuff like that? So it, it, that becomes costly. So in order for us for other organizations to do that, the, this app is really fine, really going to open up doors. Uh, for a lot of companies to be able to do something that is really enterprise level and bring it down to the SMB space. Yep. And that's a great point. And you're, you're seeing that where you're getting a lot more capabilities uh, that like maybe enterprise level coming down to this space for, you know, small, medium businesses. And that's, that's awesome. And the other thing, you know, that we didn't really get into and JP, you can talk about this in more detail if you want, but these, most of these apps are, you know, per device per month, they're yeah. very reasonably priced um, and it allows you to get a lot of functionality and capability on your device on a subscription basis. So it's, or, or you know, a monthly basis. It's not, you know, you don't have to pay for everything up front. You don't have all these on-premise, uh, you know, servers and, and fax cards and all these things that are needed. It's actually all in the cloud and you just pay on a monthly basis, just like you would today with Netflix or Spotify. It's just a monthly, monthly fee. Yep. for that capability. Yep. And, and the costs aren't, aren't huge, right? It's, it's, it's insignificant to, to, to most organizations what the cost would be for a lot of these apps and the amount of time that it saves people, right? Is kind of, and that's, that's the hard thing for a lot of companies is that they, they sometimes organizations don't look at soft costs, uh, right. which is people's time and other things when they're analyzing it. They're just like, well, but when you actually see somebody, you know, they're not, they're not uh, spending like, you know, three hours a week doing some tasks that now it only takes them, you know, half an hour. That's a huge savings for, for not only for the company, but for the, the morale of the, the actual, the user. Right. right. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. And I think that's, that's where a lot of this stuff is coming from. And we're, we're, we're really seeing that in the marketplace right now where, you know, it's kind of like make it's like hitting the easy button, right? We want to make sure that we want to hit that easy button every single time and make things simple and uh, for, for the users, because especially now with everything that's happening, if we can make things a little bit easier for the end users, uh, you know, your, your employees, then you've done a good job. Yeah. Yep. Well, thank you. I agree. So, yeah. Yeah. So thank you everyone. And, and so, you know, we, we have a few minutes, we didn't want to, you know, take too much time today, but if, if you guys have any specific questions about certain applications that we have, we didn't go into detail on everything because we didn't want to, you know, overwhelm you with too much, but wanted to just show you the power of the, the platform and, you know, some of the applications that are most used today. Um, and, and we talked about those, uh, but we do have others. So if there are any questions or, you know, anything you want, want me or JP to address, we can do that now. And, and just one thing too, um, we, we do find that, uh, you know, some of the, the governments where we have had, um, some 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 traction in the uh, HP's done a very good job, you know, winning some very large uh, uh, opportunities in the last year uh, in some of you know in Canada some Canada government. Um, a lot of these apps are are working in those areas as well, and they're able to do things a lot faster. So there's that. There's retirement homes. There's car dealerships. There's apps for pretty much every business. Anything that's a company a business it, it hits almost every vertical. So there is no there is no one-stop shop kind of thing. So, you know, you can contact, integrate anyone, you know, at integrate and contact uh, your representative here and, uh, you know, they'll feel free. They'll, they'll love going over this stuff with you and please reach out to them and then uh, we'll go from there. So if, does anyone have any questions? Any questions out there? I think we're good. I think, uh, I think that's everything. So, so Brandon, we, you know, on behalf of everybody in, in integrate, thank you very much for joining us. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. And, yeah, thanks. Uh, we'll, we'll, it's we'll, been we'll great to do this you. again soon. Yeah, happy to right. do it again soon. All right. Okay, well, well thank thanks you so to much. everyone. Okay, talk to you later. Take care. Bye.